Today we're going to be talking about our first impressions in Portland, so stick around, that's coming right up. Hi everyone, welcome to Navigating the Modern World with Coach Eli, the Walking with Purpose edition. Today I have a very special topic for you folks. We're going to be discussing our first impressions important. One more time. Our first impressions important. Now, before we get to that, for those of you that have been following me for quite some time, uh, recognize where I'm recording this video from today. I'm back at Red Morton Park. And interestingly enough, Red Morton Park has reopened their parking lots now i haven't been here in many months i haven't been here i'd probably say gosh how long has it been since i did a live stream i used to do a lot of live streams out here probably five or six months and the last time i was out here they had all the parking lots closed but they've been reopened i was able to pull in and park now most people are still wearing their masks um i typically do not wear a mask when uh I'm doing these walking videos because then you're not going to be able to hear me as great. But, you know, I, I tend to, you know, avoid people. Someone's coming right now, so I'm going to avoid them. Coming without a mask, so you got to be careful. At a distance, you know, six feet, right? Pretty simple, right? But, uh, yeah, so Red Morton Park is back, and uh, this is the first time you're going to get to see Red Morton Park in glorious 4k at 60 frames per second <laughs> and uh i'm recording this video it is uh shortly after 4 p.m pacific time and uh and i think this is the right time to record videos because it's not as bright but it's not dark yet and you just get that cool cinematic effect right but at this time also there are a lot of people you know getting off of work and kids come into the park and stuff, so <laughs> you got to keep your uh, eyes and ears open while you're <laughs> recording your video, while you're, while you're vlogging. This is called vlogging, right? <laughs> All right, so let's not waste any time. Let's continue uh, getting right to it here. So we're going to be talking about our first impressions important. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, I got to cross to the other side because people, too many people are coming on this side. And again, you got to socially distance and you don't want to interrupt them with the video. But anyway, so our first impressions, important, even in the modern world in 2020 leading into 2021. And if I had my say, which hopefully my say means something, I think first impressions are more important nowadays than ever before. And the kicker is you have less time to make a first impression. What do I mean by that? You literally have like two to five to 10 seconds max to make a first impression. Why? Well, if you haven't been around for the last 10 plus years since we've had these amazing little portable devices little portable computers that we still call a cell phone or a smartphone, right? <laughs> Which we call them nowadays. Uh, it's because of that, because we are so connected. And, you know, there are so many people to talk with through so many different applications and dating sites and texting and all that stuff, right? That, you know, you literally have like two to five to 10 seconds to make a first impression on someone to see if, uh, you know, they're going to, give you their time to get to know you and if you want to give them your time to get to know them as well it works both ways so that that's the thing you got to understand first impressions are even more important now but you have less time to make that first impression you got to get to the point okay you got to get to the point quick and at least make you know the person that you're getting to know feel comfortable that you're worthy of their time and worthy of uh, you know them you know allowing you to get to know them that's the bottom line so what I'm gonna do 
in this video. It's not going to be too terribly long, maybe 20, 30 minutes max, 25 minutes or so as I cruise around the park here. Let me just uh, show you the lot is back. It's open. Baseball's still going to go on. Yeah, the lot is open. Look at this. That's cool. Wow. Everything seems to be getting back to normal. So here's here's the thing, and you know, also when you're actually out uh, at the park recording, you gotta also, uh, you know, listen for copyrighted music and all that. A lot of people like to blare their music, and now that I'm using my Rode Mini shotgun microphone. Um, that hopefully will get rid of most of the background noise and just focus the sound on me. But let me let me compare how it used to be getting to know someone, you know, and how you used to behave and act to make the first proper impression. An example I'm going to give is back in the 70s and 80s, if you were to go to a car dealership you know, let's say there's a husband and wife and they'd go to the car dealership to buy a car, right? And you walk in to the car dealership and the salesperson greets you and says, hello, Mr. and Mrs. whatever. You, you typically would call and make an appointment back then, right? Nowadays, you just walk right in, right? But you make an appointment, you'd walk in and they'd say, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. How are you doing today? Welcome to, you know, Redwood City Ford or whatever, right? And they say, oh, great. Yeah, you know, oh, oh, yeah. we're doing great. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Please have a seat. Um, would you like any coffee? And what would you like in your coffee? Would you like a pastry, right? They would sit there and cater to you, right? Then you would sit down uh, at, the, at the desk, at the office of the salesperson. And the salesperson would say, Mrs. Smith, that's a very lovely dress you're wearing. Uh, very nice, very nice dress. And Mr. Smith, that's a wonderful tie. I have one just like that, right? Now, I'm not saying to a certain extent that people don't, you know, talk that way nowadays. They kind of do. But it was really, really um, something that was extremely important back in those days. It was almost kind of like you had to really suck up to somebody to get their business now back then it wasn't considered that but if you you know if you're a car salesperson and you react that way uh nowadays you talk that way to people that are looking to buy a car they're going to say cut the crap you know what are you what are you trying to sell me like you know they're gonna they're gonna people are gonna feel like you're just trying to blow smoke up there you know what just to make a sale right so what is the proper way today to make a great first impression and allow someone to get to know, like, and trust you and build that trust so you have that trust and that bond, right? It's real simple. Be yourself, okay? Don't, don't act any differently than you are. Now, hopefully you're a decent person if you're a jerk. Um, Excuse me a second. Just had to walk around that, that doggy and that gentleman. If you're a jerk, you know, and that's your personality, you're going to struggle in all aspects of life. And if you're a jerk, you're not going to make it as a car salesman, for example, or as a salesman in any way. Nowadays, you got to be cool, calm, and collective. You can't uh, suck up to somebody. You can't overly kiss someone's you know what because they're going to think you're trying to sell them something, which is what they used to do back in the days. They used to, you know, overly suck up to you, which was normal. But you can't be a complete jerk. You got to be a hybrid in the middle. You got to be real with people. You got to be genuine. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up, bro? Welcome to the dealership, man. What you, uh, what you looking to get into, man? You know? So it's a little bit different, right? It's a little bit more forward. It's a little bit more 
genuine and real. Now, don't get me wrong. There are still some shady car salesmen out there. This is just for example purposes. The, the car salesman thing is like the best example of how I can share this topic. But, you know, um, you know, if you, if, if you want to build rapport, you know, with those clients, you basically want to be yourself. You want to have a genuine conversation. How's your day going? Now, what do you do for a living, man? You know, just have a conversation like like you're getting to know a friend, even if you're a car salesman trying to sell a car to somebody, right? And that's the way to make a great first impression. If you try to be overly nice and say, for example, if you had a car salesman nowadays say what they used to say back in the 70s and 80s, um, such as, you know, hey, Mr. Mellis, how are you doing today? First of all, my name's Elias. Now, hey, Elias, how are you doing today, right? Much better, right? But back in the days, I'd be Mr. Mellis, right? If somebody called me Mr. Mellis nowadays, I would be like, man, that's too formal. You're trying to suck up to me. What are you trying to sell me? You trying to convince me that whatever you say I should do? Well, that may not be the case, that's the impression that you give off if you try to approach things uh, in the same ways. What the heck is that? Somebody's howling like a werewolf. Maybe they saw my selfie stick and camera. <laughs> Man, you never know what you're going to get around here, right? <laughs> I'm back at the park. But yeah, but yeah, you know, the bottom line is, you know, you don't want to give off the impression that you're trying to trick someone into doing something for you or buying something from you, right? You want to come off genuine. You want to come off like you really care about helping that person in the best ways possible and helping them find the best possible solution. And you have their best interest in your head and heart and not yours that's another way to look at it if you always look at you know who you're getting to know and and one of the best ways to make a great first impression is to come off like you have their best interest in your head and heart and not just yours you still have to respect yourself and love yourself but you want to make it very clear in a way that's not overwhelming that Hey, I just want to get to know you, you know? You seem like a really cool person. Like in the dating world, for example, a first impression is even more important nowadays than ever because most people are meeting online, right? And when you meet online, you're dealing with a lot of different aspects that people are looking for. You got to look at the profiles carefully because nowadays people are eliminating you based on your political party preference. That's happened to me many times and I've seen other people blog about it and vlog about it as well. So you got to know what you're looking for. And, you know, when you send that first email or the way you write your profile is how your first impression is going to be perceived by the other side. So you have to take that all into consideration, right? And then maybe tweak it up a little bit every now and then based on the responses you're getting. If you're not getting the, the type of responses that you want, you can always tweak things up. But even like, let's say, for example, I'm talking with somebody through an online app, let's say Match.com, we're messaging back and forth, we exchange numbers, we get on that first phone call. My first impression is going to really happen on that phone call. You know, I'll say, hello, hey, how you doing? You know, and, then, and they'll say, hey, how's it going? Nice to talk with you. Yeah, it's great to finally uh, connect with you, right? Because most guys won't even say that nowadays when they're talking to women. They won't say, hey, it's great to finally connect with you, right? They'll be like, hey, is this uh, Julie? Yeah, hey, is this, is this Eli? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is Eli. Um, yeah, uh, hey, hey, what's up? Right? Like, you sound all shy and non-confident, right? Instead, you know, just say, hey, it's a great pleasure to finally talk with you on the phone. I've really enjoyed our conversation through messaging on the Match.com app, you know? How's your day going? And then ask them, how's your day going? Ah, uh, you know, 
I had a pretty crappy day at work, she may say. How about your day? Oh, I had a phenomenal day. I had a great day. I'm self-employed and uh, love what I do, blah, 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 right? Well, it sounds like you had a better day than me. No, I'm sure your day was great as well. It just it hasn't ended yet. I'll tell you what. I'm going to help make this day end on the right note for you. How's that? You see how you turn that around? You make a great first impression, right? That's all it takes. You want to take others' people's wants and needs and feelings into consideration. You want to have your head and heart in the right place, not just for yourself, but for the other person. And you want to, you want to come up in a way where they pick up on that without you having to say, I'm a good person. Because if you have to come out and say, you know, I'm a really, the moment you say, you have to, you have to come out and say, I'm a really good person. And you're trying to convince the other person that you are, the other person's just not feeling it. They're either going to feel it naturally or they're not. So, <clears throat> let me see here. I think I'm going to go the other way because there are some people coming. I'm really surprised how busy the park is today. It's, on a, it's a Tuesday. We're still in the middle of this pandemic. The lots are open and everyone is out. I guess people have had enough of being locked down out here. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens regarding that as we enter 2021. So that's, that's how you make a great first impression. You know, I just shared with you what to do, what not to do. And first impressions are extremely important even in the modern world, even in 2020 leading into 2021. They're actually even more important than ever and you have less time to make that first impression. People are very quick to judge nowadays and it's not because they want to be that way. It's just the way the world is, especially since now we've got these mobile devices attached to our hips that are a faster computer than our home computer. I got this new iPhone 12 Pro Max which is faster than my laptop. It's ridiculous. And I can vlog on this thing with an external microphone and I don't have to spend the extra money to buy, you know, a super camera. This, this phone does everything on the front selfie camera. So give me just one second here. I'm passing by a few people. <clears throat> all right, folks. So with that being said, hope you all have yourselves a great day. Uh, another Walking With Purpose video in 4K at 60 frames per second is coming soon. So keep it locked to this channel. Please like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if there's a topic you'd like for me to discuss in a future video, go below in the description and email me at Coach Eli at CoachEliSmiles.com and I'll get back to you ASAP. Have yourselves a great day and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.